Good morning, everyone. It is minus nine with the wind chill, or including the wind chill today. It's just minus nine Celsius. A dull day. It's kind of foggy out today. Yeah, it's a dull looking day today here in Fort McMurray. <sighs> Looks like frost on the trees. Makes it look pretty. I'm on my way today to, for, uh, to go to a funeral of um, more of a, an acquaintance, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've known this person for a long, long time. No off him. Don't, uh, more friends with my parents than were with me but his wife um, she helped me through a pretty rough time she, when she would come in the store and she would talk to me and um, it meant a lot when I was going through uh, my divorce and uh, I'm going today support of her it's uh, really sad actually um, the man was just 59 years old and uh, according to my knowledge was not sick or anything but on Christmas day he took sick and uh, he went to work and uh, he ended up not feeling well when he got at work or so and went to the medic center and they sent him home on the bus. So he went home and didn't go to the hospital right away. But the next morning his wife got urged him to go and he went. And his blood pressure apparently was through the roof. And uh, they incubated him and he didn't come out of it. They could not find the cause of the uh, uh, infection as to what was wrong with him. All kinds of scenarios, they just couldn't. And uh, yeah. So they put a truck in him and tried to bring him out of the coma and uh, he did not respond and unfortunately his organs started completely shutting down and he had passed. The sad thing is, is he was only 59 and he had two um, adult children younger than mine, uh, or around the same age as mine, too, and uh, both of them married. One had a four-year-old, or has a, I guess she's five or six now, years old, granddaughter, and he was expecting his brand new baby granddaughter any day, and actually she was born the day before he had passed and uh, 
So it makes it really sad, right? He worked with my son on site and my son said all he was talking about was retirement in June and uh, his brand, brand new granddaughter that was about to be born. It just goes to show you folks that, you know, we don't have tomorrow, we only have today, right? We only have today. So it's a sad, sad day. It's been a sad couple weeks, really. I had to stop for a few minutes because I needed some Hall's cough drops in case I'm in the service and I start to cough or something. I don't want to be coughing, so yeah. Not that I have a flu or anything, just you know, you can end up getting really dry or whatever. <laughs> today life control unexpected curves we've talked about that before the thing that It's heartbreaking, it's like when a death happens, you got something major happen, your family, friends are all around, and then within a couple of days after everything settles down, everyone just gets back to normal, and I don't think friends intentionally uh, forget about it. They just get busy with their lives and you know, it, it's not easy when you're a spouse especially and the person you've been with for 40 years is no longer there. Or 50 years or 25 years or however many years you know, you're your um been with that person for so long they become your best friend you're confident the one you talk to all the time and then all of a sudden gone and yeah you just don't know where to be uh, going to. just don't know right I was not wrong in coming early because parking lot is already starting to fill up and there is not gonna be a lot of parking around I know my uh, mom uh, when my with my dad passing it's been very difficult for her to begin with she didn't have a driver's license and stuff and so now she's housebound 
won't be the same with my, with my friend here, but uh, she has her license, but um, for my mom, like you're stuck there in the house, everyone is working and her closest friends were up here in McMurray and she lived in Edmonton and and uh, it's been very hard. You know, when you're alone all day long and you're looking at poor walls, it's not easy. And that's why folks, you know, when I talk about uh, saying hello or going and seeing your parents and all that, that's one of the reasons is because, you know, if they're alone, they're alone. And they might not see someone for days on end. And it's not easy looking at four walls. Anyway, I'm going to uh, get back to you folks a little bit later after the service. And uh, yeah. over and done with. <sighs> Hard service. Well, that's over and done with. Um, was a good service. As far as funeral you know, services go. <laughs> Isn't it strange that you don't see people for years and years, people move away, people you see who are part of your church family or wherever, and you haven't seen them for years, and all of a sudden a funeral happens and you see somebody. <laughs> days like this especially when you have when you do have something like that to go to it makes it more drearier goes out especially to the widow, widower the person left because it's so hard when you lose a loved one especially your spouse who you've been with for a long long time it's so very hard no matter what way you look at it, whether it's through uh, death or a marriage breakup, 
when you blast the one who was your best friend, confident, whatever, for such a long time and then all of a sudden you're not in your life no more. It's really hard to take. I said before you know if you have especially aging parents uh, go see them and especially if you've got a parent that uh, and you've lost one of your other parents you know it's not easy so please make time for that surviving spouse one thing that was stressed in uh, the funeral is like you know you you bring nothing into the world and you take nothing out. When you're born, you come into the world with nothing and when you go out, you go out of the world with nothing. You can work all your life. And have all the toys around you that you want, the big house or whatever small house, whatever, but you know, you can't take nothing with you. There's only one thing that you can take that we're all born, it says we're all born, right? Everyone is born and we're all born in sin. And we come to the knowledge of God and it's up to us individuals to make a choice whether we're going to live for God or we're not going to live for God. And that's the only thing that you can really take with you is, is to know that you have a right relationship with God. To know that you're spending eternity with Him. And it's only through Jesus' blood that you're saved. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. And uh, he's to save us to give us eternal, eternal life with him that's why we ask for forgiveness to have eternal life with God because if you die without God you're separated from him for eternity and I'm going to tell you folks eternity without Christ is not a good thing don't want to be separated from the love of God. Anyway, this is all I have to say for today. I'm not uh, going to work today. I'm not still feeling all the greatest. That abscess is uh, not put me in the best form. I haven't uh, had much sleep in the last couple days. So I called in and just said, yeah, I just need another day to 
try to uh, get some rest. So, it is what it is, right? this today. I have to uh, get my Ford truck one thing I don't like about Ford trucks is that the lights underneath the side mirrors, they don't go off unless you're going 50, 40 to 50 kilometers an hour. And of course I was driving uh, smaller than that as I was coming home and uh, so now I just got to take a little run down around to make sure that I'm got the right amount of speed so the lights will go off. How many times I've come home, like when I came home the other night from the hospital It's after 2 in the morning, and do you think I could get the lights to go off on the truck? No way. <laughs> I had to get back in the truck and go down the hill and come back up, going 50 kilometers an hour when it was slippery to turn off the lights. I think that's a, something Ford should fix. <laughs> But anyway, won't do me do won't do me any good because this will be my last vehicle. dog now I gotta come this way So they're ready for a game of hockey, street hockey. school zone again. Oh, little 
kitties crossing the school, crossing the roads. Anyway, folks, I hope everyone has a great day today, and I hope the sun is shining on Lake here in Port McMurray today. Wherever you are, I hope that you have a great and wonderful day, and do go see your moms and dads, okay? And love your spouses, your kids and your friends. And... Uh, smile at someone and say hi to someone that you don't know. You could be the very one that can brighten your day. And you don't know, it could be someone who just lost somebody. It could be going through a difficult time. And you're ready up just saying hello, saying that you care. Someone cares when they say hello to you and smiles at you. Does a person's mind good. Anyway, folks, have a great and wonderful and blessed day. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.